What's going on YouTube? This is Jose over at Spidey's Powder Tumblers coming back at you with another unboxing video. I believe this time I have a box heroes package to open up. I got a uh, Instagram purchase that I got from OG Junkin the Trunk. And I also have a, I believe this is going to be a raffle win. And I believe that's going to be Doomed Comics also on Instagram. Let me uh, double check that later, but I believe that's who it's going to be. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and start off with showing you a product like I usually do on the beginning of these videos. So the first ones I'm going to show you are an 18 ounce hydro flask. So an 18 ounce hydro flask comes with this topper, which of course you come out and you can use it as a sipper or a sippy sipper. Comes with the straw that attaches to it. Actually comes with two straws. So this one here is an 18 ounce hydro flask. And these also come... And hopefully I can get these for a good amount of time because I don't know if this is just a special they're running where they added another lid to it. So you have the one you can drink out of and you also have one that's a plug. So you just put it on there and you can carry it around and you don't have, little, you don't have to drink out of one of these. So the next one is going to be also the Hydro Flask but this one's going to be a bigger size. It's a 32 ounce Hydro Flask and this one's already been painted blue. So this one here, same thing. Comes with the two straws included. Has a pull-up sipper. And it also comes with the other lid. Nice thing about these, whether it's an 18 ounce or a 32 ounce, this same cap will fit your 32 ounce. And this cap will fit your 18 ounce. So if you had two of these, you'll have four lids. So you can have that, you know, swap them around, do whatever you need to do. But they also fit both sides, so it's nice to have something that's interchangeable on the lids. So that's going to be the product show off for today. So let's go ahead and start this video with an unboxing from Box Heroes. So far I'm really liking Box Heroes. I know it's a lot of variants and a lot of newer stuff, but around here, I mean this is Houston, but we have a pretty good amount of comic book shops I want to say. The only problem is it's hard to get to them sometimes one's further than the other and, and your local one is not really that local around here so you have to drive a little bit. Once you get there the only experience we have here is sometimes and, and I don't know how many other comic book shops are like this but sometimes you can walk into your shop they're a little rude they don't want to really help you out so you, you know you're there to spend money but they really don't want to help out. If you ask them something they're like eh, it's over there somewhere and that's the way it stays and I, I get it you know some people can be a handful sometimes and you don't want to deal with it everybody has their own issues but hey it is a shop we are there to spend money and it'd be nice to know that they feel the same way behind the counter towards their books like we do the only other thing is I was able to go to a flea market over the weekend didn't find anything but I did find a uh, throw this away because it's blowing around I did find a little LCS in that location where the comic I mean where the uh, flea market was at but I walked in and the th first thing I noticed, they had the new releases to the left of the door, which was great. And I would have showed you the LCS, but I'm sure everybody's getting tired of seeing it. It was three different covers of Berserker and Noctera, Noctera number one, two different covers of that. So everybody has seen the covers, there's no reason to really show them. Um, but I did pick up, first thing you seen on the, on the sign was one cover per customer. So you can get the different covers they had, but it was one cover per customer. Which is okay, but to be honest with you, they had at least a couple hundred of everything there. So they're going to take a while to sell all that stuff. And it, you know, it is what it is. I, I know everybody wants to get a hold of these berserkers and so forth. But the other, that was the first thing I noticed. It was all the new releases for a certain amount of product was on the left. The rest of it, which when I grew up in the 90s, well, it was late 80s, early 90s. Of course, it's even 10 years before that, but before when I started collecting, I was able to go to a comic book shop in the next town over. Our town was real small. It was McFarland, California. And we were real small. We were field workers, so there wasn't really much there. You drove over to the next town, which for us was Bakersfield, California, to be able to purchase comic books. So the little store I worked for when I was getting ready to go to high school, the little store I worked for, I was able to get a hold of a couple comic books there. They would put them out in display cases. Well, the son of the owner actually had his own comic book shop, so I was able to, you know, get a ride from him, and obviously I was spending my paycheck in his store, so he was probably enjoying that. But the nice thing I liked about that shop is you walked in, and they had racks of books, 
And all the books, they took the time to bag and board. So they gave you the bag and board in every one of these, these uh, books. And, and they were real nice, real helpful. They did a lot of Magic the Gathering tournaments. That's how I got involved with some of my tournaments back in the day. But, so to go away from that, that's what I would love to see is somebody that would bag and board these things, take care of them, take care of their shop and so forth. I walked into this little LCS and noticed that was on the lift, which was nice because it was just a rack and the books were sitting on top of the rack. But what I didn't like is the wall had a complete, uh, I would say a wooden shelf, but it had like the old spinner rack. So you had half the book showing and the other half was on the bottom of this wood slab. So what's the first thing people are going to do? They're going to go in there, you know, they're going to do this. And these aren't backed and boarded. So what happens is all your books, say you had 10 copies of, I'm going to say Berserker because that's the first thing that's coming to my head. But they had 10 copies of this up on that rack. All 10 copies had a spine, a spine crease from the corner all the way across to where they looked like they just folded the book back. Now, why an LCS would want to do that? I have no idea because once those leave the shelf, they're going to go to the back issues and you're going to have them. One, the back issues don't have bags and boards either. So they're, they're hot doo-doo, you know. It's not, it's not a good way to run your business, especially if you want to try to sell these afterwards. I mean, let's be honest. I'm going to go in there. You're going to look at some stuff. You guys as an audience are going to go in there, look at some stuff and look at it and say, you know what? It's not, me, it's not worth me spending hours in these boxes. So I wish the LCSs would realize if, if they actually cared that much about their product and cared about, if they were collectors like the rest of us, they would try to take care of that. And trust me, if I say, walked into an LCS and they had everything bagged and boarded, you know, pay a couple cents extra for the bagged and boards. Who cares? But when you want to charge a dollar, two dollars for a bag and board, that's not right either. But hey, I get it. It's time to put them in there. You know, if they want, hire Josh Grab. He, he loves the bag and board. I bet you he'd do that for you for free. <laughs> he may or may not. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> but. You know, it, it's, it'd be nice to be able to go there. You bring in more customers because, hey, guess what? I'm going to tell this guy here, this this place here takes care of their stuff. I'm guaranteeing you, you're going to find good copies. You know, I just wasted my time. Granted, I was already in that little town, but I wasted my time because I walked in and I walked out with maybe five books. And they had a lot of stuff that was new, stuff that I hadn't gotten because I hadn't been to an LCS in weeks. Like I said, the one around me, it, they're just not friendly at all. But let's go ahead and go to this unboxing. And that was my LCS pickup, so it was just some Nocturnal and Berserker. But that was what I noticed on there, and that was, I guess, my little rant for the day. But let's go ahead and go to this Box Heroes uh, package here. We're going to go ahead and open up that. Well, the reason I was going to that rant is, so, that's the reason I'm liking these Box Heroes, is because you have a variety of variants that an LCS may not carry around you, or you have some of the new stuff that you didn't pick up, or you even thought... Do I really want that? You know, is it worth my time that you can mess with? So that's the reason. And you know, for the price, you're not paying that much money for this. And that's shipped to you. You get it. They know how to package up the stuff. You got a box so you can ship other stuff with later. And you've seen my closet. I have full boxes of that. So right off the bat, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And everybody's loving these these uh, Marvel cards. He included a Marvel card in with mine. So it's a Wolverine. Well, it's a Wolverine card, but from then till now, 59, so it's Psylocke. So hey, everybody's going crazy for these cards. I guess that was nice for them to throw in that. You get your regular box serial card that they give you, where to find their information. Got me a little Darth Vader sticker and a little Magneto. So that's the first little giveaways they throw in there. So let's go ahead and open up this box. That's what everybody wants to see. And I do do the subscribers, so I do get the extra book, which is always nice. So box here. Bounty Hunters number 9. 
Star Wars is becoming real popular right now. So everybody, and the other thing that's nice about this, he mylars everything. Fox Heroes mylars. Well, I hope everything, because then no sooner do I say everything, and they're not mylars anymore. So Bounty Hunters number nine. So this one says, oh man, I'm gonna kill that one. An Ibon Colio Colio connected variant. Yeah, no way I said that right. But let me go ahead and show you the book. So that's an X-Men Legends. So according to this, it's going to be a collecting cover. So it's X-Men Legends number one. And there is the guy's name. So X-Men Legends number one. This one here doesn't have anything in the back. So let's see. Oh, another book that's really hot out there. If you guys haven't read this already, it's highly recommended. I have not been able to sit down and read a comic book in a long time. Anytime I have extra time... I go and do something else with it, and I need to really get into this because I'm really big into horror. So this is something that's killing the children, number 15. So again, a really recommended good read for everybody. And, and it just seems to be the, the latest hype on all the those channels. And that and a couple other indie books. But So we got a Darth Vader, 29 of two, uh, 36. So this is a Marvel number 10. Full of surprises, 40th Empire Strikes Back. I'm not sure if there's any significance to that, but again, another Star Wars book. With the way Star Wars is going right now, I had a feeling I was going to start running into some of these boxes with a lot of Star Wars. So next book. Yep, so a little bit older, Wonder Woman. So this is a Wonder Woman number one. So I'm not sure what the year is year is but maybe it's 80 somewhere it's in 19, it's a 75 center and I'll look that up later so that's Wonder Woman number one next book oh whoa that looked pretty good there so this is another X-Men the uncanny uncanny X-Men number one onslaught phase number one so this is back in 96 so that's X-Men so this one here, let's see, is Marvel Tales Spider-Man, okay, starting this Spider-Man, number 170, and the cover, at first, the cover got me thinking it was something else, but it's Marvel Tales Spider-Man, and number 170, I have to give that a look also, next book, The Supreme, or, oh, Superman Family, giant size, Lois Lane presents the Superman family number 178. I have no idea of Superman books. So I'd have to look that up. So that's number 178. Superman family. So this last one is going to be the subscriber bonus book. Let's see what we get. Oh, okay. So that's an X-Men number 18. It looks like the X-23 cover. And just by style, I'm going to say Peach Momoko. And I could be wrong, but somebody will probably correct it. But yeah, that's a nice cover. That is a nice, nice cover. I know she doesn't get... That, that is if it is her. That's just the style that you can tell. And that's one thing I need to learn is the different artists. I hear everybody's able to say which artist it is. And I, I think that's pretty amazing that you can tell just by the looks of it. But... I guess you can kind of see it because you've got stuff like that. That's pretty much her style. Now, if I'm wrong, hey, it is what it is. I'm learning. So, you know, in the 80s and 90s, you really weren't, weren't worried about the artist half the time. So on this one here, I'll go ahead and close off my maker where I get my cups. So on this one here was a purchase off of Instagram from OG Junkin the Trunk. I needed to make sure I... I looked that up because I didn't want to say it wrong. And I'll put the name underneath here. So big shout out to him. He runs a lot of raffles on IG. And shocking enough, I have not been able to win one from him. So I just have to put a little pause on that for right now. Uh, but he's got some great books. So I could not let this one you know, pass me up. Because I really, really have been looking for one of these. Um, and it fit. I was lucky enough to see him get it. He gave me a great price. Now the second book something else he had later on down the road. He just needed to get rid of. So I purchased that and got them together. So if you guys get a chance, OG, junk in the trunk. He's got a lot of raffles going and he's a real nice guy. So like I said, 
he was gonna raffle this off, but as soon as I seen it, I was like, man, I gotta have it. Either I'm gonna have to do it by, by trying to win this raffle, or I'm just gonna have to see if he's willing to, to sell it straight up. So before I could even ask if he was willing to sell it straight up, he, he asked me if I was interested. And I said, yeah, I am. So he shot me a price, we worked out a deal, and I got this book now. So I'll show you guys what my big hype is. And of course, it's not a Vampirilla, but it, it's that style, that area, you know, you know, of books that I collect anyways. But these are a little bit harder to come by sometimes, even in, in good condition. So what I'm going to do is look this over and I'll probably end up sending it to Erod 212 to see if I can get some work done on it and see if I can get a, a grade bump because this book here would be a good uh, one to get a grade bump. But let's go ahead and show you the first one that I got a good deal on. So I figured I'd go ahead and buy that since I was getting uh, getting this other one anyways. So, Mark Bagley signature on an absolute new Carnage number one. So of course you got the OG Carnage. It's got the new label on it. Again, I got a really good deal on this. I couldn't pass it up. So it's a 9.8. Nice, nice cover. Nice. Everything's sitting there nicely. The back has a little storyline commercial to it. But again, that was signed by Mark Bagley on 8.10 of 2019. That's an absolute carnage. Yeah, so it's basically called the Bagley Variant Cover. So they got to bring the OG carnage. Funny because they'll go with OG Junkin and you got OG Carnage. So, so this one here is the one that I really needed to get. And it does have some pressable defects. So this may be a nice candidate. It is white pages. It's in a 9.0. And there is a lot of pressable defects. If, if I can get this to 9.4, that'd be awesome. And the back... Maybe a little color rub on the color, but so this is one of the books that I've always had on my radar It's got two first appearances. I mean, oh no, it's okay. It's an origin and first appearance There's actually two of them. So this is gonna be evil Ernie number one and of course The first appearances lady death and evil Ernie So that's evil Ernie number one Man, so much glare. But yeah, I was really excited when I got this. He uh, worked out a great deal for me. I could not pass that up. And like I said, if I can get this this to Erod and try to get this a great bump, that would make a big difference in pricing also, so I'll be ahead of the game. But I'm, I'm really excited to have this in my collection. But yeah, I don't know if you can see it on there, but there is a lot of pressable defects that don't look like the color break. So maybe 9496. And hopefully the CGC guy had a bad night, you know, got dumped by his girlfriend or something, and just says, hey, I don't want to look at books. And 98, but not, it won't happen. It's it's 9496, I hope. I may be eating my words, but man, this is a nice copy. White pages. So it's only enemy right now is the cover. So but like I said, this here has a lot of pressable defects that I think Erod can work his magic on and work something for me. So the next box, and will be the final box, is gonna be a raffle win. And I believe this guy was, uh, I get a lot of stuff from him, so I work with him a lot. And I believe his this is gonna be Doom Comics. I, I only can kind of look at the packaging sometimes and tell who it is. I may be off, but it should be Doom Comics. And uh, I won this a while back. It took a while to get here, I guess. We did have those snowstorms and we did have mail problems. So this has been a while ago. So this is not a recent win. So let's go ahead and open this up.
this is going to be a 9 and 8. That's kicking my rear end due to all the tape. There we go. Okay. So we got a Miles Morales Spider Man number six. So it's a variant edition, but it's going to have Mysterio, uh, Mysterio on the cover. So this is Miles Morales Spider Man number six. That was my raffle win. From Doomed Comics, and I'll, again, I'll put his name on the bottom of this video also. So, that's going to do it for my unboxing video for today. So, I was able to show off the two products that I got, and a couple of books, the Box Heroes set, uh, a couple of slabs. You had the Raffle Win. You had the one and only Evil Ernie. You had the Absolute Carnage, number one, with Bagley's signature. Show off the uh, Box Heroes books real quick. You got the X-Men number 18, which I believe is the Peach. You got the Superman Family number 178. Yeah, Mar my, uh, Marvel. Uh, I was going to say Miles. Marvel's Tales starring Spider-Man number 170. You got the Uncanny X-Men number 335. You have Wonder Woman number 1. You have a Darth Vader. This is Marvel number 10, variant edition, full of surprises, blah, 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 40th edition, so forth and so forth. Something's Killing the Children. Glad I got this. X-Men Legends. It's supposed to be, oh, well, that could have been bad. Got a connecting cover. And a Star Wars Bounty Hunter number 9. So that's going to be it for my unboxing video today. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me, giving me a little bit of time to show off my stuff, show off some of the things I do. Uh, which would be the tumblers. Uh, I got a couple of other videos that I'm be working on. I got maybe another unboxing video to do this week, maybe tomorrow. Uh, but I do have to powder coat some cups this weekend. So if it doesn't rain, I'm hoping to be able to powder coat some and show that on film. I'm gonna try to do a little bit more of the step by step. Also, may not talk during it and just do a fast forward kind of type thing. But I'll do a little description in front of the video. Again, thank you everybody for joining me. That's gonna do it for today. If you guys can, please hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please hit that notification button so that you can be informed of all the new stuff that I got coming out. And again, thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.